Hello everyone, it's good to be able to make this brief presentation for this meeting. Um, because of my scheduling here at the hospital in the US, I'm not sure that I'll be able to attend uh, and participate in the flash meeting that is scheduled for Monday. So I'll do my best to attend perhaps for the very last half hour or hour. But in case I was not able to be there, at least I wanted to briefly present uh, the work that we have been doing uh, in India with respect to advancing the project uh, connected to the EWAS concept, which we have been talking about uh, for the last uh, couple of meetings. And essentially, we have been successfully gotten a grant from the central government of India, uh, from the Department of Science and Technology, for developing an advanced fuzzy logic-based disease model for dengue. And it also allows us to uh, propose a framework for a geospatial public health network. And the project goals uh, are as follows. Uh, one is to identify and correlate appropriate remote sensing parameters. So by that, what we mean is we want to look at variables we can identify using remote sensing, such as weather data, uh, vegetation data, urbanization data, and so on, to determine what might be the density of the Aedes mosquito, which is the vector for dengue, in the area of Ernakulam district, which is an administrative subunit, within Kerala state in India. And we also want to try to see how we can effectively develop ways of involving educational institutions to serve as hubs for community-based data collection so that we can involve students and faculty and the science groups to try to get people more involved in understanding the issues connected to mosquito-borne diseases. And finally, uh, we are supposed to propose a geospatial public health network and we want to do that based on our original EWAS concept and its uh, modifications. The area of Fort Cochin, which is a popular tourist location within the town of Cochin in this district, uh, will be a particular focus, but we want to extend the study over the larger area of the district of Vernaculum, which will be a few hundred uh, square kilometers in size. And uh, we want to look at multiple streams of data, one is publicly available health data, meaning what the government has already collected uh, pertaining to the dengue vector, uh, such as environmental parameters, or vector dynamics, uh, climactic factors, socio-demographics, and so on. Secondly, we want to uh, take remote sensing and GIS information, um, either from existing data, which we don't expect is going to be very much uh, in terms of already uh, analyzed data, or data that we might specifically procure and uh, use for this purpose, uh, do our own analysis and uh, make uh, the appropriate conclusions. We will also be doing a field data collection, including studies of vector density using accepted methods. And uh, ultimately, our goal is to try to find out what are the remote sensing based parameters that can be most useful in helping us to understand the density of the Aedes mosquito distribution over the study area and uh, we will then be going on to use these variables in a fuzzy logic based modeling system which will be devised with the great assistance of uh, Professor Niehaus and his uh, group in Germany. So this shows our provisional data matrix because uh, we are in the process of continuing to identify uh, the the right variables through literature survey and analysis, but as things stand, we think the, what you can see on the slide are some of the kinds of data that we'll be needing. So the first set of data might come from a remote sensing based uh, uh, in, uh, data collection. Second will be ADs indices, which we collect from the ground, from the community directly. And the third will be different kinds of health data, which are already in the position of the government or the kinds of data that they routinely collect as a part of their public health activities. Uh, the images that we get will be geo-referenced after collecting ground control points uh, using GPS uh, instruments. And then various image analysis tasks uh, will be performed on these images. And uh, sample sites will be selected for ground truthing of the data which we are collecting from the satellite images. And ultimately then these extracted parameters will be modeled and analyzed uh, in the remote sensing GIS modeling environment. So the significance of this project, uh, we think, is that it can 
help us to develop new methodologies for geospatial modeling of dengue, which we hope will be sufficiently accurate and usable by larger communities. And since the primary target of public health activities are against the vector, meaning the mosquito, if we are able to understand and predict which is the likely density of these vectors or the likely distribution of the vector density, then this can assist in the timely and targeted interventions that public health authorities uh, or even members of the general public might undertake. And uh, we also feel that knowledge gained from the study can be a very important stepping stone towards a public health geospatial network along the lines of what we have been proposing in the EWAS concept. Now, it's important to note that the Department of Science and Technology uh, themselves are in the process of making a very broad geospatial portal and platform and as one of the layers they wish to have a health layer and therefore the kind of uh, outputs and insights that we'll be getting from this project will be directly fed into that, uh, that uh, endeavor and therefore it's quite likely that if we are successful in our undertaking that the findings will then be extrapolated and scaled up to a national level by the government, which is uh, very much something we have been aiming for because we have believed all along that our work should be ultimately used by the government uh, for the general benefit of the people. So what are some of the challenges that we are currently facing? Um, one is what are the optimal remote sensing based variables that we need to look at and capture? And our hope is that uh, our literature survey uh, will, will help us in identifying those uh, which are most uh, appropriate to look at. A second real challenge is how can we determine what is the mosquito density in a given place actually rather than what is being projected through our satellite imaging based analysis. What is really the density in that area? How do we correlate that? And while we are not looking at trying to find the actual number of mosquitoes, we are trying to determine comparative densities between different portions in the study area. And so how could this be determined? Because, uh, you know, we, we feel, for example, could there be a method to have mosquito traps where mosquitoes are attracted to these devices, trapped and counted, and they are based perhaps in specific locations, so that over time we have a cluster of these collection sites. And based on the number of mosquitoes that are being captured, we'll have an idea of the changes, the ebb and flow of this mosquito density in a given locality. Naturally, there are uh, public health mechanisms for determining mosquito density, such as various indices for counting larvae, uh, such as a Breto index or a container index. But in our experience, what's actually happening in the communities is that some public health uh, workers come, they do a kind of survey, they may only come perhaps in, in many instances once a year or sometimes some areas they don't go at all. So it's difficult to understand uh, and really make very substantial conclusions from these kinds of indices. So we feel that there needs to be some mechanism for year-round data collection. So it is dynamic, just like the mosquito density may be dynamic over the course of a year. We also need to have evaluation methodologies be dynamic. Uh, another important question is how can community-based data collection, in this case we are thinking of uh, having hubs for, with educational institutions, but how can we build community awareness and participation in these, in these processes? And the one idea that we have is that we have developed an, an app that is Android phone based at the moment, which will be going on to iPhone as well shortly, through which people can give uh, feedback or can submit information about different kind of variables that are potentially affecting mosquito density and, or they can even perhaps give us input into their perception of mosquito activity. Just a subjective perception and we recognize that uh, it is not being objectively measured necessarily directly. But uh, you know there have been other public health uh, endeavors that have used for example Google searches, the number of searches or the or, or population perceptions to try to see how well it correlates with an actual uh, problem. And finally, we very, very much welcome any suggestions or advice that we may have from our other colleagues uh, in 86 FUI and uh, we wish you the very best for the work in El Salvador um, and uh, I hope again that I'll be able to join in the conversation uh, in the meeting uh, that's going to be held on Monday. 
But if not, uh, I look forward to being in touch uh, by email and other methodologies. Thank you very much.